What's up everyone? We have the 2023 Ford Maverick. Got some mud flaps. Let's get them installed. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you have one, two, three of these little uh, pop-in tabs. Get your pry tool. You're going to need to pry up all three of those tabs. Next, get your uh, front mud flap. The front one will have this little tab. You go ahead and you'd place it right up against here. You can see it'll fit in just right. Now, before you actually go ahead and install it, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pull back this uh, fabric lining. You're gonna take these little uh, nut inserts or nut tabs, whatever you want to call them, screw in tabs, and you're going to pop them on to where the clips were originally being held. But only for the two on your uh, painted metal. Once you've got those installed, then you can go ahead and get this lined up. This uh, kit gave us Phillips screws, so that's what I will be using. Other kits might give you the, uh, they might give you um, a hex head nut, or a hex head bolt, I mean, or a hex head screw even. Uh, let's go ahead and get those started. One of the little uh, pull clips that they gave you. Go ahead and just put it right back where it was. Uh, some of the kits, they, they provide one, but I mean, you already have three that came with the truck. You might as well use the ones that came factory. Factory is uh, generally better anyways. So, it's not always the case, but most of the time. Now, the backs are a lot more complicated in comparison to the fronts that you were doing. I already got out the two uh, pull tabs or whatever you want to call them. Next you're going to need a seven millimeter ratchet. You're going to go ahead and get out these little hex head screws. Now you have that opened up. Take your back flap, this is the passenger side, and you're going to attach the bracket to the mud flap before you install it onto the, uh, the truck. All right, so what I did was I actually put the screw clip onto the bracket and then screwed it in from the back side. That's probably how the instructions that didn't come with it would have said how to do it. And then just put it up like this. I'll take, uh, well, actually, first, I almost forgot. Peel back the, um, the plastic lining and then get your screw clips and put them onto the tab where the uh, pop clips went in. And then there is one more seven millimeter underneath the bumper. out and it already has the clip on it so you don't need to worry about that clip so now that gotten that out of the way take the screw 
put it in, get it started. Take one of the bolts, one of the factory bolts, and put those in instead. And then I'll have to go and get a little short screwdriver or a bit attachment so I can get the others in. All right, went ahead and got the shorter screwdriver for the back tire over here. There's such a little amount of space and you obviously can't turn it like you can the front tires. So. Definitely don't want to lose any of the screws out in your driveway. Now we'll move on to the back driver's side. Go ahead and, just like before, go ahead and pop out these clips. Before I forget, like I almost did last time, I'll pry back this plastic and put on the Metal clips, the slide on clips. Go. And then for this one, I'm gonna have to look underneath to see where it goes. It does look that, like, you have it placed like this, that you could screw it onto the bottom of the bumper, but it would just be. I don't know, it'd just be, you know, just screwed through the plastic of the bumper. If you live in Texas, you might have noticed that it's abnormally humid this year, no matter where you're at here in uh, 2023. I don't think I've ever dealt with such a humid summer the whole time that I've lived down here. Just practically my entire life, but not necessarily all of it. So, <clears throat> here's the bracket. Now I would assume that they want it to go on like this. And it doesn't exactly meet up, so I'm thinking maybe this is what they're wanting, but I mean... Just feel like that would almost be wrong, but I think we're going to go ahead and just do it anyways. We don't really have much of a choice, so... I guess uh just going to drill a little hole right here in the uh, the plastic. Went ahead and got a, got a drill. Just... Let's see. I don't even remember what size bit I grabbed. It is a nine sixty fourth. So that's probably going to be yeah. That way it threads through the plastic and uh, and then goes into this clip. I think that is what this smaller clip is for. Is for it to go right there and then. Pull it through here, and then we we'll go ahead and get this going. Yeah, just like that, I think. I think that's that was the intention, I think. All right, well, that's the end of this episode, so we will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. We'll see you in the next episode.